Good morning, Modern Steaders. This morning we're going to start working on the off-grid outdoor kitchen. Let me show you what we want to get done for the day. I want to get a filler board in on the outside. I don't want to put one on the inside yet. The eave overhang needs to all be boarded up. I got our staging set up. We're going to start out here first this morning. We need to finish siding this little section of the overhang and then we can get to putting the boards on the underside. First thing we need to do is we need to get a couple of pieces of strap in cut, one to go along the top of the roof and one to go on the bottom so we can nail our siding. Anything, I've never used one. So I don't know what kind of footage we're gonna get. You'll find out when I edit the video. to have 35. I can't lie, I've been a little burnt out this week from doing this, the weather change. I don't know about you, but when the weather changes, it really zaps me. And we've gone to fall weather here this week. So I've been a little burnt this week. But being up here working on the off grid outdoor kitchen has got me back pumped up again. I can't wait to see this all sided. Oh, yes. Too many boards at first. I want to make sure we get this angle calculated right and the phones just start going crazy. Modern steaders. We did this right. Oh, it should fit nicely. Ooh, like a glove. Like a glove. I like it. We need to stay in place and get our nail gun. getting set up to do the overhang, I took a bunch of measurements so we can cut a bunch of boards and have them ready to go for a layout. Alright, that's going to give us five boards to start with.
we can put a couple of boards up. Nice. That worked. Fun part right now is going to be to make sure that we're all the way up against that other end. And we should be. Let's just put a couple of nails in on this end to start. down there and check it out. Alright, ratchet strap time. I like it much better. things with working by yourself. You're usually moving around quite a bit. You get everything positioned the way you need it. this last wide board in place. Oh, this bugger! That's what I was afraid of. another one in the house let's see if we can get this board up and if you don't get to see the board being finished installed it's because the battery died Looks 
nice. Getting closer to have a place to park our tractor. This will be the home for the Kubota. Right under here. cut edge up and then the bottom edge is going to be sitting on the hardware that holds the reels in place. Did you want me to put in this blue, bluey stuff? Well, it's going to be, what do you do? Can you put some caulking? It's already up there. Yeah, but do you want me to put it in that? Well, it's where it's sitting up against. How much more? Right around there. Good job. Knuckles. Yeah, that board is the filler board. The overhang. And it's all boarded up. And the back is finished. Now let's see how the tractor fits in the overhang. It'll be interesting to see how good the overhang keeps the weather off the tractor. It's not completely covering it, but it covers it, I'd say, 80%. So it's better than being completely outdoors. And for the summertime, I think this will be a great spot to keep the tractor. If you like today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it. It's really helping the channel grow. We want to thank you for that. 
Don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We're Alumna Acres over there. And if you want, try finding us on the interweb with our new website. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Alumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.